Salutations and good morrow, everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be talking pets. Before we do that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, but let's hop in and let's talk about it. So, one of the things I want to talk to you guys about pets is one, how to get them. I've mentioned it in a video before, but you guys need to get a uh, plant slurry or mushroom slurry using the grinder in order to tame your pets. Um, the number of slurries you need differs uh, throughout uh, your difficulties and it also differs depending on which pet you're trying to tame and also to just differs depending on well all sorts of reasons they don't want to make it a set number um, of slurries that you can use in order to get them so sometimes it takes two sometimes it takes 20 it just depends uh sometimes it just takes some more time to, to tame your pets so um if you guys don't get a pet when you first drop the one or three slurries on the ground and the pet eats them and then you can't walk up and pet them yet sometimes it just takes a little bit more time so you guys got to be a little patient um but you should be able to get pets without a problem it just takes a little bit of time another thing that a lot of people are asking me about lately is where the pet memorials come from uh like i said before you guys get those pet memorials from one of your pets dying and that's becoming something that's happening more often and i think that they need to fix in the game uh speaking of uh pets dying a lot um one thing that i'm starting to notice a lot is that uh if you're not keeping your pet with you, their happiness level tends to drop, but more about happiness in a second. But also, it seems like if you do keep them with you, everything hunts them like twice as much. Like it's aggroed to them twice as often. So more ants will come to find them and hurt your weevils. Uh, ladybugs will kill your aphids really often. Um, and or by just you just fighting you'll end up killing your pets on accident all the time so in my opinion i think that one of the things that they need to do is one they need to buff the pet health and two they need to make it so unless you are physically looking at your pet and swinging at them uh to actually harm them that you can't actually hurt your pets because it's 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 really a bummer to go through and spend as much time as you do building a pet house and naming them finding the stuff grinding out getting them the hats putting a hat on your pet naming your pet getting them all you know set up and like that um, bringing them with you on your adventure just for them to you know fall off the hedge and die or for something to sneak up behind you and kill your pet or you know something like that which is happening more and more often which is really a bummer um but I do think that they need to adjust that just a little bit because at the end of the day right now um, you can't really it's not really worth it to make a pet other than just doing it to have a pet around um, because they die so easily and on top of that not only with the dying easily the happiness level let's talk about happiness because you guys will go and I've had a lot of comments from you guys lately Sim what's going on with my pets happiness I pet them all the time there's tons of food but I come back and they're not happy and then they end up untamed um, one is your pet does need to stay happy in order to be to stay tamed for you if your pet gets sad they will leave or they will try to leave and I've had a lot of people down in the comments thank you to everybody who leaves me a comment letting me know what your guys common bugs are you guys are seeing right now not only in the game but actual game bugs as well um a lot of you guys are telling me well sim i can't keep them happy i've put a ton of food on the ground in there i walk up and pet them i pet them and i pet them and i pet them and they're just not happy they're just unhappy and then they end up leaving and also i'm seeing that my pets are now untamed that have hats on which means they were my pet at one point and i gave them a hat and then now they're untamed what's going on and your pet's happiness level is dropping and I think one it's dropping too quickly right now but two in order to keep them happy I do believe you need to keep them with you that's the only way that I've seen that I've been able to keep my pets happiness up right now at least through my playthroughs uh, is that I need to actually keep my pets on my character so you know when you have them equipped they'll end up showing up right down here by your character to let you know that you have a pet um, but once again going back to that previous problem when you have a pet and you're like okay well I want to keep them happy so they don't leave so I'm gonna bring them with me and then you bring them with you and then they get killed by something it's like well what the heck you know now i have a pet that's either dead and then i have a bunch of gravestones or i have pets that don't want to stay with me because they're not happy so which one am i supposed to do how am i supposed to keep a pet and it's like well do i just keep a memorial to my pet by just having a little stuffed one on the ground with me so that way it's just there with me all the time or do i just deal with the fact that they're not going to be happy do i just walk up and equip them so that's one thing that i have found what i've found is if i go out and i leave my pets at home and I leave them in a little wrangled area right you build yourself a little area for them with the little half walls and you put a little pet house in there so they're in there and you put some slurries on the ground so that way they're there and nothing else can get to the slurries to eat them so that way you know your pet is eating them uh 
and you go out and you do some exploring, you come back at least once a day in order to sleep, but in order to do that, you grab your pet, you bring him inside with you, and then you sleep with the doors closed, that way they don't get out, and they don't run away, and they don't get hurt. Uh, I've noticed that the happiness level increases and stays up. That's one of my ways that I have found so far that has worked for me personally, um to keep my pet's happiness up or just bringing them on a quick adventure while you're building or something like that just be careful not to go up anywhere too high because falling damage is a thing and it, and it will hurt them so just be careful with that as well um so yeah if that helps you guys i hope it does um with your guys's pet happiness because i've had a lot of questions on happiness and a lot of people are like i just can't keep my pets happy and i don't want to make a bunch of aphids my pets for them just not to be happy and i get that because you could only have one pet following you around at a time you could have infinite pets right you can have four thousand pet houses which i don't recommend because finding four thousand pets would take so much time but if you do it, please let me know, because if anybody has like 4,000 pet houses and just 4,000 aphids somehow, I will literally come to your world and tour it because I just have to see it just so my game can get crashed by that, um, because that would be wicked cool and also just a ton of work. Um, but I don't recommend doing that because one, the amount of plant fiber you need in order to keep them happy and the number of grinders you would need would just be astronomical. But two, um, it would crash your game and also you can't keep them happy because you have to go through and like grab each one once a day and try to do something with them. Um, it just it wouldn't work so i get if you're trying to be like a cat lady and like have a bunch of uh a bunch of aphids inside of your base running around uh just so you can have these little buddies with you and i love the aphids trust me i have a stuffed aphid he's you know right behind me on my shelf that's you know that way um but they're awesome but at the same time they're it it's so hard to keep them happy at this moment so what my point of this all is, is I do believe that the pets are going to get patched soon. I do believe that the pets are, their happiness level is going to get increased very soon and we shouldn't have them trying to escape anymore. But, uh, until that bug is done, just keep it to one or two pets. Just try to keep them happy. Try to grab them once a day and bring them out with you a little bit. Don't go anywhere too dangerous. Don't go anywhere too high. Just keep them kind of inside the house or inside of a little pen and like chase them around inside of the pen for a little while. Feed them a couple things, pet them a few times, and they should stay relatively happy for you. At least what I've seen in my playthroughs. So I hope that this helped you. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. Let me know you guys are enjoying the videos um, because the more you guys like the videos, the more I keep on producing them and keep on wanting to make more. Let me comment down below if you guys have any other tips that you guys know of in order to keep your pets happy because pet happiness is a huge thing right now in this game and we want to make sure that pets are staying happy also leave me a comment down below if you guys are looking forward to any other pets that are coming to the game because i'd love to know what you guys would like to see don't forget to subscribe turn your bell notification to all and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one